Here's how you're going to deal with the problem called Newton's Law System with no friction. It starts out, there's a hanging mass attached to a mass on the table. The table has negligible friction, and these are going to move as an entire system. You're going to start with the driving force, which will be the force of gravity on this block. You get the force of gravity using the um, gravitational field on Earth multiplied by the mass. You'll take that force gravity as your driving force and divide by the total mass of the entire system. That is both blocks added together. Once you get the acceleration, you're going to try and figure out the time it takes the block to reach the floor. So you're going to do delta y equals vit plus one half at squared. You're going to use the distance above the floor. Make sure you put it into meters. The initial velocity is zero, so you can get rid of this entire term. The acceleration will come from your previous calculation, and you're going to solve it for time. Be careful with your algebra. Once you get the time, you'll then find the speed of the system when the block hits the floor. Again, use your acceleration from your first calculation. Use your time from the second calculation. Plug in zero as the starting speed of the system. You will then get the final velocity of the block when it hits the ground. That will go in as your top speed. Realize that when this block hits the ground, this block is going to continue to move. Since it no longer has a driving force, it will continue to move at whatever speed we calculated for the hanging mass when it hit the ground. We need to subtract off the 29.9 centimeters because the block will have fallen that f far and the block on the table will also have moved that far. So whatever is left when you subtract the original length and the length above the floor will be how far the block on the table will move after the other block hits the ground. So you're going to take whatever your final velocity is, put it in here. Your delta x, make sure you put it in meters, is going to be the difference between the table length and how far you are above the floor. And you're going to solve for t the time. That will be called t2. That's the time after the block hits the floor and before the other block hits this barrier. Those two times added together will give you your total time in seconds. Multiply that by a thousand, and that will get your time in milliseconds. I hope this was entirely clear. You just take it step by step. Think about what you're doing. Again, you find the force gravity. You're on Earth, so you're multiplying the mass of the hanging block by 9.8. You then use that gravity to find acceleration. Again, total mass. That's the hanging block plus the table block. That acceleration is then used in two formulas, one to find the time of fall and one to find your top speed. Your top speed is then used to find out how much time the block on the table will take to reach the barrier. You add your two times together, get your total time, multiply by a thousand. I hope this helped.